Good evening. I'm Jessica Moore. Welcome back. I'm Dick Brennan. Several pet owners put their trust in a New Jersey veterinarian who's now accused of mistreating dogs. As CBS 2's Kevin Rincon reports, several dogs under his care died. Jose Lopez brought his dog here to the Newark Veterinary Hospital after it suffered a small cut to its back. Came in for stitches. Half an hour later, he called me and I was scared already. Why he called me? Oh, she died. She died. What do you mean she died? His vet was Dr. Aaron Yablon. The 44-year-old is now facing multiple counts of animal cruelty. They got to close this place down. They got to close them up because they keep, they're going to keep killing. This guy's evil, man. He's really, really evil. Alessandra Estevez lives next to the animal hospital. Her friend brought her dog in for an exam but never made it home. Then he charged the woman $2,600 saying that the dog died during the surgery. The Essex County Prosecutor's Office says their investigation started in June of last year when a woman brought in her English bulldog to the office for an exam. The vet said it needed surgery. The next day, it died. Another vet examined the remains and found it never underwent surgery. He's literally just a monster. It's a monster thing to do to these animals. Jessica Portillo brought in one of her Yorkies for a visit when it was exposed to Parvo. In all, five of her dogs died due to that virus. A lot of people can just say these are dogs, but to me, these are my children. These are my best friends, and it's not fair for someone to be put through this. She got help from Susan Janet, who runs Rosemary's Rescue Ranch, managed to save one of her dogs named Lexi. The virus spread from a husky at the vet. The owner also worked with Susan. It turns out he lost seven huskies to the virus who were all brought to this hospital. Before they died, the vet refused to let them go without payment. This doctor was holding these dogs hostage for a ransom of $1,600 in cash for services that were not even provided. So far, no comment from that vet. His first court appearance is scheduled for May 17th, and for now, his hospital remains open to the public. In Newark, Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News.